everybody, it's Miss Bates. Happy Art Club Day. Hope you and your family are doing well. Today, it's Earth Day. I went to go print out a picture, but my husband used all the ink. So I just decided to go ahead and draw out one. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to do two little projects. Now, I know everybody hadn't picked up their art supplies that I left by the door on Monday. If you haven't had a chance to pick up your little Ziploc bag with everything else in it, please have your parents email me and I will be glad to leave it out front of the office whenever it's convenient. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're gonna do some 3D flowers. Now you have a piece of mat board and then you have a little Ziploc bag with all these little pieces of cork. Uh, there's two types of cork. There is, this is the traditional cork and this is like a rubber cork. So I cut these in pieces because I thought it would be kind of cool since it's Earth Day to do some flowers and make it 3D. So I cut all these little pieces for you. Now, the center is going to be the little bit darker cork and I'm gonna leave mine blank because I kind of want that to be the center. And then the other, the other six, you're gonna do six little petals with the rest of the cork. So you're gonna take your paintbrush and you're gonna pick your color and you're just gonna paint the top of each one of the petals. So each flower is gonna have six petals. And then like I said, I think it would be nice to leave the regular cork, not paint the cork because I think it gives a nice texture to the, the flowers. So you're just gonna, if you wanna paint the sides, you can paint the sides. I kinda like the way the cork looks on the side. So if you, you can paint the top or you can paint the sides, it's up to you. And you can paint them in different colors. Maybe today you might be planting some flowers for Earth Day too. But I thought this would be a cool thing to do to show dimension and texture. Okay. So after you get your, um, after you get all your petals painted, I have enough for you to do three flowers. You're gonna let it dry for a little bit and then you're gonna place them on your cardboard. Now I had already placed them cause I'm gonna do three. So I did one here and one here and one here. You can put them wherever you want. We're also going to cut out, I, I just had some different kinds of construction paper or um, crafting paper and I cut out to make stems and petals. If you have that at your house, you could definitely do that. But if not, after you get your flowers on, then you could paint it in if you didn't have any um, colored paper. So after you get them painted, then you're going to glue, you're gonna use just some regular glue and you're gonna put the center on first like that and then you put a drop of glue on the bottom and then you finish putting your petals you don't need too too much glue and these are all different sizes so you some are um, taller than other ones that helps it give dimension so here Here's your other flower. Now you could go ahead and put the last one on. And then what I did is I just cut out, this is actually scrapbooking paper, and I measured it and cut it out. You wanna make sure you get all your flowers on first before you start putting your leaves and your stems on. So you want, cause you wanna make sure they fit before you glue them on. And I decided to use this instead of painting. So, oops, I see my little, my petals are sliding. So I just wanted to show you my little flowers. So that's our pro one project that I have in your bag that you can do. And then also for Earth Day, I found um, another cool project. I know this group loves a mess and the messier the project, the better. But here is one that you can do on a paper plate and it's for Earth Day. So you can put your blue paint on your plate and I kind of put it in 
because what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a Ziploc bag and we're going to mix it all up to try to make the earth. So I put out some blue paint kind of in some of the spots on the plate that the, the water would be. And then I have some green paint in some other spots. Now, after you put the paint on the paper plate, you put it in a Ziploc bag. Now, you can seal that up and then you can take your fingers and you can smush them around and blend them to try to make the earth. If you need to take it out and put a little bit more paint, you can do that. But it's kind of cool. You just take a regular paper plate and put it in a Ziploc bag and you put the paint and you press it around and move it all around so it covers the whole plate. And there's no white spots. And see if it looks anything like the earth. I don't think mine does, but you might have better luck. The last thing that I wanted to tell you is that also I put in your bag, I saw this um, cute rock project and you might be going for a walk or you might have rocks in your backyard um, and the rocks have sweet messages on them and also these rocks have these rocks here have masks on them and I thought if you knew a doctor or a nurse or someone in the healthcare profession that's really working hard for us today that maybe you could paint a cute rock and give it to somebody to cheer their day. So I hope you have a good one. And like I said, if you need your um, packets that I made for you, because we have one more project next week. Next week will be our last art club for the year. So I have one more project in the bag for you to do. So don't do it. We're going to make keychains. So don't do it until next week. Hope everybody's doing well. And I want to see some pictures. Send me a picture of everything that you're doing. Oh, I wanted to tell you one more thing. I talked to Father Joe and he I told him about the churches that you painted with the blocks of wood and that's where he got the idea to send in pictures of your churches or your prayer spaces at to Father Joe because he wants to see them so if you have time and you finished your church and your little prayer space take a picture and send it to him and show him that um, show him everything that you're doing so I hope you have a good afternoon and I will talk to you later. Bye.